Uh, the tax man is here. He is the Director General of the Federal Tax Authority. Friend of the Business Breakfast, we welcome Ahlama Sahlan, His Excellency Khaled Al-Bastani. Your Excellency, good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning, Richard. Thank you for inviting me to your program. Well, it was lovely to see you in Abu Dhabi yesterday. There was a big event. 1st of June, of course, corporate tax is here in the UAE. If you can begin by just explaining to our listeners, from a very basic perspective, the rationale behind implementing corporate tax here in the UAE. Uh, Richard, thank you. I think it's important for everybody to understand this is, is part of the UAE strategy for economic diversification to support economic diversification, financial stability, and to comply with international tax standards, which supports the UAE competitiveness. So the UAE have introduced in 2017 the excise tax and uh, also introduced the uh, VAT tax in 2018. And there have been a lot of studies uh, on regarding corporate tax so finally, the law was issued for corporate tax and last year in 2022, and the effective date is the Paris of June, as you said earlier. So this marks a milestone in the history of the UAE, and uh, this will be uh, a new tax that will really support the government service uh, providing financial uh, revenues that will support uh, economic development, uh, providing better services. So uh, it will have a lot of impact on the way we uh, diversify our income in the UAE. So let's talk about the role of the FTA, the Federal Tax Authority, because it was interesting. I, I met you briefly yesterday at the event in Abu Dhabi. His Excellency Yunus al Khoury from the Ministry of Finance was speaking. Again, if you can just clarify to people, what's the difference in the roles? The Ministry of Finance, as I understand it, sets policy, and you at the Federal Tax Authority implement that policy. How accurate is that? It's your own spot. Um, in the UAE, uh, the tax have been uh, uh, assigned to two organizations. Ministry of Finance is a legislative body. They are the organization that draft the laws and uh, uh, issue the cabinet decisions, ministerial decrees regarding taxation. Our role in the Federal Tax Authority is the administration of taxation. We implement the laws. So our role involves into uh, awareness to taxpayers, registering taxpayers, collecting tax, and uh, ensure that uh, there is uh, compliance to the tax laws in the UAE. And this is like a, an international standard where there is a separation between the legislative body and the administrative uh, tax authority. So one of your roles is to raise awareness, which is interesting, because the, the questions we're getting in, if you're Aldar Properties in Abu Dhabi, or if you're Microsoft with the headquarters here, you've got a big four accounting firm, they're advising you, you know exactly what you're doing. But the thousands, tens of thousands of smaller companies here in the UAE don't have PwC or, or, or KPMG auditing their books. So what's your message to these smaller companies who, who are thinking, well, how do I register? How do I make sure that I pay my taxes? I will tell you, uh, now uh, what we have done, we have a plan for the registration of companies. And we have a comprehensive awareness program for the corporate tax. Uh, as you know, uh, corporate tax is something new to the UAE, and, and uh, there are different segments in the market that we need to address. We need to address the small to medium enterprises. We need to address free zone companies, uh, non-resident uh, companies that uh, have business here in the UAE. So there will be targeted uh, awareness campaigns uh, for all different segments that are in, uh, affected by the tax law. So what we will do, uh, we will have starting from July, uh, because at this stage, Ministry of Finance is conducting awarenesses about the legislation side, but starting from July, we'll be issuing guidebooks, uh, awareness uh, workshops, some of them will be physical, some of them will be virtual, 
and we will be uh, issuing clarifications, public clarifications. There will be a lot of uh, information dissemination, and we will use different tools. As I said, uh, one of the tools is to have the workshops, or uh, another one is to issue uh, public clarifications. Uh, another one is our website. Our website is important. Uh, platform for taxpayers to come and to learn more about the latest tax legislation. With regard to the registration, uh, we we have started the registration, uh, early registration since January 1st. We have introduced the corporate tax registration and Emirate tax. However, from January until mid of May, there have been companies that have been invited, which we know that they will be uh, their financial years will start from June, so we, we, we provided them with a priority to register. And starting from mid of May, we announced that a registration is open for uh, private and public stock companies and uh, private companies. Uh, these are our priorities for the time being. Uh, there will be a later stage for registration of pre-zone companies, groups, and natural persons. These are planned to evolve as the legislations are uh, uh, announced and people have clarity on who have to register and who doesn't have to register. So right now, uh, the registration, uh, you, uh, people will log into our website. They will see the registration for corporate taxes there. And uh, we have the taxpayer guide that uh, explain to them how to go about it. And weekly, we have uh, two uh, webinars, uh, one in English, one in Arabic, and uh, the calendar of these webinars is also on our website. So we ask uh, taxpayers to come in and to join these webinars and benefit, and we seek their uh, support and for early registration. Your with Excellency, we're, we're, we're out of time. We'll have to leave it there. Shukran Jazeel, and thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us this morning. That's the thoughts of His Excellency Khaled Al-Bastani. He's the Director General of the Federal Tax Authority. Really appreciate your time. I know it's a busy time for you and your staff, so we'll let you get back to work. Thank you indeed.